Well, Phil, I got extra work this week. Gonna be gone a little while. Turns out yesterday Jody stepped on a mine. He ain't coming back. A lot of people seem to think that just because we're living in post-nuclear fallout that there's no need for jobs anymore, that it's all about survival and that's it. No building relationships, but I disagree. I think there's a whole plethora of things that need to get done and still need to keep getting done. I myself hold a respectable two jobs. I do uh, surveyor work and postal work and I switch between the two on a week to week basis. This week is postal work. I'm happy about that. I had a pretty bad last week uh, with surveying. Uh, not excited about next week neither. You're telling me you want me to go in there? Yeah. In there? Mm-hmm. But that's ground zero. I know. We need it checked out. I already got a sunburn. So you're already ready. Why do I gotta do it? I believe in you. Can I get a raise? No. Postal work uh, is pretty simple. Uh, same routes usually. Not much change. So uh, you really know what you're getting into. Oddly enough, not much changed about the Postal Service over the years. It's still the same kind of stuff. You know, people want to know the news, so you got newspapers, you got love letters, get well letters, don't talk to me ever again letters, and if I see you again, I'ma stab you kind of letters. And obviously you got the gift packages and the smuggled guns and weaponry. I bring about whatever I gotta bring. It's not my business what you do. I'm just here to make sure everyone gets their due. I have my reasons. Some people don't really like you getting in their business. Sometimes you get a few shots blown towards you. But I consider it just a part of the territory. One of the things you learn pretty fast is you gotta know where you do fit in and where you don't fit in. Sometimes, sometimes you come across situations where things can get awfully hairy. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, good doggy. Good dog. No. 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 Hey, back. Stay. Sit, dog. Sit. Please. No. Why always the male? Why always the male? Still, that's what I like about this job. Keeps my blood flowing. Keeps me living. I pick up a lot of survival tactics in doing these jobs. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. You'll never catch me, gotta. Yep, like I said, some things never change no matter where you are in the world. Like trust in your gut, for instance. That's a good one, especially in the wastelands. Sometimes you just gotta learn to take the loss and come back later. Just ain't worth getting killed over some mail. Yeah, those are some demon clouds right there. Mama told me never to smoke the weird fumes. But conflict ain't really always avoidable. Sometimes you just gotta defend that place. Oh god, I'm so sorry, mister. I didn't mean to do that. Can't always be helped. Especially when you're already right there. I myself, I'll, I'll be impatient. I'm not going three miles around just so I can get to the thing I was two feet away from. But shit happens. <laughs> Both my jobs give me a fair share of PTSD. It's not ideal. See, I usually prefer postal work. It's not always the best option. Still, I've managed to survive this long because... I'm a coward. I'm not afraid to admit it. About to drop a year's worth of caps just to fix my whole spine. I think I might be sweating blood. Sometimes we get a few late orders, so we pick that up through caravan traders. They pass us by on the same route, going a different way. Uh, and uh, it's usually early morning. Kinda sucks, cause I don't get tipped for none of it, but that's how it works. No complaints, I make a fair amount. Just would be nice if I got a little bit extra. There's ups and downs to every job. I get my fair share of run-ins from unusual individuals. You are one sorry son of a gun. 
How in the hell did you end up passing out in well, the pool? there being some places I prefer not to get involved with, such as the Commonwealth Trailer Park on the northwest side? Real strange folk there. I wouldn't feel right if I didn't ask, but are you doing okay? You got a problem with me? You, look, you see something funny? There ain't nothing weird about this. I'm just, okay, hey. Watch it, farm boy. I, I'm, I'm just looking out. Well, I don't like you. I don't like you either. Good. Get out. This all too. Fine. All right. Scream. Okay. okay. I'm going. No, watch I'm yourself. Going. I'm going. We'll catch you. Okay. There was this one time I got held up by a raider who was all alone. He told me to drop everything I had and give it over, but I was telling him, it's like, it's the beginning of the week. I ain't been paid yet, so I don't got any caps on me. And it was at that point he got kind of mad, yeah, maybe even a little disappointed. I just saw him walk off after a while, Settle his head down. down in shame. I felt terrible. I thought that I was in the wrong somehow for not having money to get stolen off of me. I came back, tried to ask him if he wanted anything in exchange, maybe just get him, get him a Boston Bugle, help him read the news. <laughs> he didn't take a liking to that that I'll much. It's free, it. it's extra. No, you're poor. Okay, okay, I, you okay, me. I'm going. Just All right. Okay. Then there was this guy from a vault or something. He was wearing a real weird getup. I wasn't really sure what his deal was. He seemed pretty on edge, like he'd taken a lot of medications. He just screamed at me over and over while he shook me left and right, asking me where's Sean, where's my boy, and I didn't really understand what to tell him, cause I was like, I know a lot of Sean's, I know at least 15 of them. He's like, you got anything other than just his name, maybe a last name, what's he look like, does he have a farmer's tan, I don't know what to tell you. By that point, I don't think he was really listening, cause he was just staring at this weird watch on his wrist or something, he pressed this button and then poof, he was gone. I didn't really ask any questions after that. There's another uh, weird character I came across just the other day, too. Hard-ass mechanic. Real tough son of a bitch. I don't think you can buff that out. Well, you'd be wrong. It's kind of a lost cause. I've got 30 years of experience in well, my I'm just belt. saying, it's all... I can still fix her up. You're alive still? You're damn right. I'll finish this job no matter what. This car ain't gonna die while I'm at it. You might not believe it, but it's actually pretty common to come across a lot of just fighting, breaking out in the middle of the street. I don't really intrude. I just let them do their thing. They let me do my thing. It's more or less a mutual understanding a that, now. you know, you just don't get wrapped up in other people's business. At the end of the day, you gotta keep everything exciting. Otherwise, you'll just waste away with the other remnants of the wasteland. That was a long, long week. I swear. If only Jody hadn't gone and got himself blown to smithereens. Still can't wrap my head around why there was so much flannel and jeans and laser rifles being smuggled this week. What's going on? I'm back. Anything left? Nope. Thank God, it's over. I can finally rest easy now that I... Uh...